let's talk about the health issues first. Um, I am in the middle of another Crohn's attack flare. Um, started cramping really bad about two Fridays ago. And I uh, was really pretty scared about that. Thought I might have to go to the ER to get it under control. Ended up you know, getting it under control. And the doctor I was dealing with here up in Willow Creek um, did get me on uh, some prednisone, some steroids in order to get the swelling under control. And I've just kind of spent the last week and a half just being pretty miserable. Um, Crohn's disease, my version of Crohn's disease, Crohn's can hit anywhere um, throughout your whole digestive tract. Mine's in my small intestines. I've had three surgeries uh, to remove sections of my small intestines in order to um, you know, remove the diseased parts. Uh, the problem is, is that those parts that are removed also create a weak area and so the Crohn's does like to come back to those spots. It's an autoimmune disease. I will have it forever. And it's been very active this year already. I had my first flare in March and uh, now we're dealing with another second flare. Um, I have a very strong potential to have what's called short gut syndrome, which means basically uh, you don't have enough intestine left to absorb nutrients. So basically I have one more surgery and then after that um, my body, if, you know, if I have a second surgery after that, my body will no longer absorb vitamins, any vitamins. It already has a very hard time absorbing B and D. I've lost the um, part of my ileum that is, is the section that's near my colon or large intestine. And so that has, that's where you absorb your B and D vitamins from. Uh, however, there, I do have some good news with this, thankfully. Um, the one thing right now that I'm really dealing with is I'm very, very anemic. And uh, I can't eat fruits or vegetables or iron, uh, or um, fiber. I can't eat any fiber. So, you know, people get iron from green leafy vegetables and I can't touch them. So I'm incredibly anemic. So the great thing about finding that out is that that can be fixed. And as can the B and D issues. Now the Willow Creek doctor, um, he prescribed some vitamins for me, which my body can't absorb vitamins. And he absorbed, uh, he um, uh, prescribed iron pills, which my body can't handle iron pills. This guy also wanted to give me a laxative because I was constipated. Well, I'm not constipated. My intestine is swollen shut. And so nothing is going through my body. So if that's too graphic, I apologize. But that's what Crohn's is. Crohn's, uh, my version of Crohn's, Crohn's affects people very differently. Um, but my intestine swells and it blocks movement through my body of waste. And the more that your body swells like that, the more scar tissue is built up inside of your small intestine. So when that happens, that's creating a permanent narrowing. And so the more permanent the narrowing, the, the more scar tissue you get inside, and then you have swelling after that, and then pretty soon you have a non-opening in your intestine. And that's what I had when I had my first surgery. I was very, very ill. So I had my third surgery in 2017. Now, prior to that, my surgery before that, I think was in 2008, 2009. So I had a long stretch in between the surgeries and, you know, I thought I had time. Well, you know, I thought I had a little time, uh, but then, you know, at the beginning of this year, I started getting sick again. And that means that my intestine is swelling. My disease is active. I'm creating scar tissue within my stomach. And my likelihood for surgery is probably a year out going where I'm at. 
instead of having six, seven, eight years and having maybe, you know, two surgeries before I have short gut, it basically, when you have short gut, what you have to do is go to the hospital every other day and have vitamins injected into your skin, is my understanding. So uh, your body does not absorb vitamins and you have to have injections. So this doctor up in Willow Creek here, he prescribed bottled vitamins, pills, and um, an iron pill. And I've had iron infusions before, so anemia is not unusual for me. Um, but, you know, what he was recommending wasn't working. One thing that this guy did do is he got me to a GI specialist in Eureka, whom I talked to yesterday. So basically, Crohn's for me is a death sentence. And um, basically, the way I, I feel about it or have felt about it is I'm going to be lucky if I outlive Ozzy. I'll be lucky if I have 10 years. The way, you know, I have two surgeries left. And then my body doesn't absorb vitamins at all. It already has a hard time with it. But anyway, I digress. So I talked with this doctor yesterday. And somehow, in Eureka, California, I got connected with a GI doctor who specializes in Crohn's disease. Which is very rare because Crohn's... Um, is kind of something that GI doctors kind of avoid. It's it's a very difficult disease. And um, it's very hard to find a Crohn's specialist. Not only that, but he was the head of the uh, Crohn's and Colitis Foundation here in Northern California for, for many years. He's also been a GI doctor, um, uh, the head of the GI department in two different hospitals prior. He's been in practice for 52 years. So, um, the, I'm sorry if I'm stumbling over things or if I'm repeating myself, I honestly can't really track too much of what I'm saying or doing or remember much of anything. And that's just a, a, a problem with being the, I think the anemia, anemia, the anemic portion, you know, I, I just can't function too great right now. Um, anyway, he, he has some ideas and, uh, he's going to get me started on B12 shots. He's going to get me started on, uh, D, uh, shots. He's getting me an iron infusion. He's getting me restarted on Stolera, which I stopped taking when I lost my insurance through Kaiser. Uh, back when my job ended in uh, 20, I think I lost my insurance in 2018. So I haven't been on um, an immune suppressor since 2018. It, I don't... I don't like taking medicine that completely destroys your immune system. And that's what this medicine does. It destroys your immune system. However, they are um, finding that, uh, and, 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 and the medicine, the Stolera has like a 30% remission rate. So, um, you know, you can get on it and it might not do anything at all. But it should help to at least suppress, you know, um, remission. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to be in remission, but maybe I will. Um, but I guess there's new things that they're trying where they're combining um, a couple of these different high-powered medicines. And at that what it does is it's kind of cross blocking um, the T cells. It's an overabundance of T cells that are attacking my small intestine. So when you twist your ankle and your 
your ankle swells. That's T cells going and fixing the problem. So my my I'm trying to simplify it, and again, I'm sorry if I'm not explaining it well. My body's fighting itself, so it sees food as the enemy, so it creates swelling and creates all sorts of bad things. And so these immune suppressors are there to suppress this uh, uproar that my body feels, you know, that, you know, you've got enemies, you've got enemies in your intestine, so we need to go fight it. So this will suppress it. So now they're doing a combination of two of these biologics and uh, they're actually seeing some success. They're seeing some success with uh, getting the disease under control. I just found this out yesterday. So, maybe it'll work. I, I don't like to uh, hope about it because I've always known that this disease will most likely be the death of me. And, uh, you know, it's no life to live if you have to go to the hospital every other day and sit in there and get vitamins infused into your arm. And, uh, you know, have colostomy bags and things like that. So, um, the good news, I'll be getting the iron infusions hopefully within the next week. I'll be getting the B12 infusions and the D infusions and the, or shots and, uh, I'll get started on Stellara and, uh, I don't have to take the radiation medicine because that's one thing that they do. They put you on a radiation medicine so your body doesn't. Uh, build up antibodies to the medicine that's already killing your system, which it's, it's for radiation. And they expect you to be on that forever, so this doctor did not insist on that. Um, I told him about the doctor in Willow Creek, you know, not knowing what he's talking about, and he said that uh, from now on I'm his patient, and we're going to fight this together. And uh, he's going to do what he can for me as far as uh, you know, insurance and working with that. So it's actually good news. I have uh, I, I might have a chance of living more than 10 years. So that'd be cool. And I'll have a chance to feel healthier and get some energy back because I am so drained, guys. I am so drained. And, you know, you just don't even realize it because you just keep pushing through. And, um, you know, this last attack, I'm just exhausted. And it's really hard to be creative when you're exhausted. But I know that if I don't keep doing it, that, you know, I'll lose Patreons, I'll lose... But then again, you know, where's the toss-up there? Where's, you know, where's the benefit? Where's the, the line? So that's part of what I've been dealing with, you know, for, for, for a few months now, is the fact that I'm exhausted and frustrated with the channel and lack of growth and you know people watch the videos and they don't comment or they don't like and they're not subscribing I mean I still have 46 48 percent of people that watch the videos that don't subscribe and I'll never get anywhere with the channel it's just where it feels you know it's like why am I doing this why am I doing this why do I keep putting out all this effort and energy every single month for nothing. And it's not for nothing. I mean, you guys, you guys are the reason I, that I'm continuing to do this. And, um, you know, and I, I, 
I try to be bring good and interesting content. I try to make videos that people will watch. You know, uh, the, the frustration level is very high. Um, I'm exhausted. And I can't move much. I'm just blah. I've put on a ton of weight since I've been home. I am not, not since COVID, but part of that is because I went through a Crohn's attack and then I went through vertigo and then I uh, am anemic. So I have no energy. Anyways, I know it hasn't been very joyous and I, I'm, I apologize for that. Uh, Ozzy is doing good. He's very happy to have his friends here living full time. I'm very happy to have my friends here full time. Um, it's uh, uh, it's nice to have my people here and um, not to be so isolated and also to have help if I need it. So that's been that's been really a good thing. I have a beautiful new deck that I love to sit on. It's been super smoky. But uh, I'm just trying to stay healthy and I'm trying to get healthy now, realizing how unhealthy I am. You know, you just don't even realize how unhealthy you are. It just kind of builds up and builds up and builds up over time. You know, it's not like I, not like the vertigo where all of a sudden I woke up and I couldn't, couldn't stand up anymore without falling over. And so, you know, this, anyways. You know, you know, you have thoughts that go through your head, it's like, oh, why me? But then why anybody? You know, why anybody? And, uh, anyway, not very happy news, I guess, but happy news, so hopefully, hopefully within the next week or two, I will be feeling better. And that, that would be, that would be, that would be amazing. And I found, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I found a good doctor. Hopefully I found a really good doctor. And it might not be quite such the death sentence as, as it always seemed to be. So. Alright. I love you guys. Thank you. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.